Okay, for this lesson I'm going to uh, just demonstrate connecting a, uh, a mini DV camera. A mini DV has the uh, small digital video tape in it, but this could also be one of the uh, hard drive recording cameras. You can uh, transfer the data from that. But uh, yeah, normally it's the mini DV cameras that, uh, th that these programs tend to take full control of. So what we need to do now is uh, I'll turn the camera into VCR mode and you'll see that Windows will automatically detect that there's a camera connected. There we go. It's asking me what device do you want to use. Well there's a Sony DV device. That's the one we want. We'll choose next. Uh, what are we going to call the file name? And where are we going to store it? So I've got I've chosen a directory here, um, a C column backslash video temp. You can browse and make new directories wherever you want to put it. By default, it'll put it in documents and settings, my videos or something like that. But I don't like to use those uh, those types of directories, so I've created my own. Uh, next, the file name is not valid or exists. Please choose another name. Okay, so we'll call it. Uh, test 2. Next. There we go. Now what do we want to do? Best quality for playback on my computer recommended. Well if we're making a DVD that's probably not recommended. Digital device format DVAVI. That's what we have. Yes and there are other settings there too which uh, we, can, um, we can choose a couple of different others. It all depends on the resolution that you want when you finish. But we'll go to this back up to this one here, Digital Files DV AVI, and you can see here it is um, bit rate 25 megabits per second, display size 720 by 576, and frames per second 25, video format PAL. Each minute of this setting will consume 178 megabytes, disk space available, and uh, we've got probably a little bit of disk space there, but not probably not enough to record a whole one hour tape. Okay, choose next. What do we want to do now? Capture the entire tape automatically. That means the camera will rewind to the start and start recording. Capture parts of the tape man manually. That's where you just stop, start, stop, start, record and stop and that sort of thing. Show preview during capture if we want that on or off. Um, we'll do entire the entire tape automatically. Just I'll just show you the start of that. Choose next. Okay, you can see that the uh, program is now rewinding the tape. It's now uh, gone into capturing the video. You can see the video appearing on here. I don't know. I'm not sure how this uh, will work with the uh, screen capture. You may not see any video being captured. Okay, that's. Uh, you can see the size of the files really jumping up there. It's 46.32 megabytes. Uh, 17, cent, 17 seconds, 19 seconds of video. So that's enough, I think. We'll just uh, stop that now. Uh, and you'll see now we'll just uh, import the clips that it just captured. <coughs> I'll just turn the camera off. Okay, so now what we've got now is that clip that we just captured, the test 2. We can drag and drop that down onto the timeline and with a bit of luck you can see over there on the um, playback window. We'll just hit the play button there. Okay, there we go. Capture, capturing from a um, camera.